All right, I just got done reacting to the Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 reveal for the multiplayer as well as Warzone 2.0, the DMZ, even though they touched on that for like 10 seconds, whatever. There is so much to unpack with this entire presentation. I kind of just want to give you guys my first reaction to everything that we saw, my thoughts on some of the new game modes that we're seeing, this Warzone 2.0 coming out November 16th, and kind of wrap everything up into one video for you guys so this might be a longer one but if you guys do enjoy it leave a like on it down below a dislike if you didn't subscribe for more fps content it's call of duty season and i am fucking pumped So the reveal started with, a, well, a 30-minute fucking countdown. I don't know why we continually do these in 2022. Let's get it. What? They didn't do this bullshit. These motherfuckers, bro. On God, y'all are going to hit me with a 30-minute countdown? We got you baited. But once all the talking and the introductions and the crazy shots of the warehouse were done and we finally got to the multiplayer reveal, we got like a two and a half minute trailer for the game and it's it's Modern Warfare. It looks pretty fucking good. If you were a fan of Modern Warfare 2019, chances are watching this trailer, you're probably pretty excited or you're at least happy that it doesn't look so out to lunch they didn't change a lot of things about it it's modern warfare with a little bit more polish we got some underwater combat uh, a, a brand new vehicle system with damage allowing you to shoot out tires and lean out windows unless the door is actually blown off there's a whole bunch of polish being made in a bunch of different areas around this game and i gotta say it's looking it's looking really good from animations visuals uh to to the movement i was watching some of the streamers that got invited out to this event and watching them kind of you know sprint around jump crouch a lot of it has been slowed down and kind of dialed back a little bit i'm noticing that the jump spam isn't so prevalent you're not jumping bunny hopping around corners they actually made it a lot slower paced in that regard to where you can't just spam jump you can't just spam crouch they brought back diving which is something we haven't seen in a while but it takes so long to get up from it that sometimes it's not even worth it to do and this is all based on just a visual watching of other people playing the game because obviously i wasn't invited out there because i'm a negative prick but it looks pretty fucking cool. It looks like the pacing is very similar to Modern Warfare 2019, but just dialed back a little bit in certain areas. The maps also seem to be dialed back from the complaints of 2019, in which they said there's a bunch of windows and doors everywhere and people are camping everywhere. The maps remind me a lot of like Call of Duty of old, that three lane style gameplay, but expanded a little bit. The verticality here isn't, at least what we've seen so far, isn't really on display as much as other maps that were in 2019. Until I actually Actually get to run around and see the flow of combat it's really hard to tell but from what i'm seeing it, it, it's call of duty one thing i am excited about is this vip rescue mode i was streaming it we had like 16 1700 people in there and you saw the comments they are like oh they stole this from counter-strike okay so the fuck what? SOCOM did the same thing. Plenty of other games have done this in the past. I'm excited that it's coming to Call of Duty. It's a fun game mode, and I ain't even mad about it. Another thing I picked up watching these gameplays is that the spectator cam is from a helmet position. So you kind of see the side of the face and the gun's a little off center, and I thought it looked really good, really immersive in that sense. Games like Ready or Not have done that. Uh, it's nice to see that kind of coming over here. And by God, they did it. They brought back third person perspective now a lot of people are complaining about it <laughs> you can see around corners it's a game mode that you have to like go into it's a separate playlist it's not like something you can toggle on and off so that you can get an advantage over people playing in first it's something you have to queue for and from what i understand you can actually do it in private games and set up the hostage rescue mode so if you wanted a makeshift socom game in 2022 you can actually do that so that excites me greatly now, a big focus on this presentation was obviously Warzone 2.0. We know Warzone is the big mode that a lot of people have been enjoying, and 2.0 is ramping the shit up a little bit. We got a new map, Al Mazra. There's a lot of you know lakes and flowing rivers running through here to kind of complement that aquatic gameplay. The map looks really cool. It's very big, and there's definitely a presence of old Modern Warfare 2 maps. Like when you go to the airport, they actually have it kind of re they've rebuilt Terminal basically. But one thing that I'm actually pumped 
pumped about there is the fact that the Gulag is now 2v2. They basically took Gunfight from Modern Warfare 2019, and that's your Gulag. When you drop in, there's somebody else on your team. There's Proximity Chad now in Warzone, which, fuck yeah, dude. If you were a fan of games like SOCOM Confrontation, you know Proximity Chat fucks. Being able to talk shit to the other team while you're killing them is the best feeling in the world, and I can't wait to talk so much shit. Now, Warzone 2.0 is coming out November 16th, and on top of all of these changes, they also confirmed DMZ, which is their extraction-style game mode that they've been working on for years at this point. It's been heavily rumored. We've talked about it on this channel. It's coming this year. It's their extraction-style game mode. We don't have many details on it, but I'm excited. I hope it doesn't turn into a Hazard Zone 2.0, but if it has depth to it to where you're completing objectives and then there's really no timer, it's not like a BR in that sense, you can kind of take your time move from objective to objective you're fighting ai's you're fighting other players i think that's actually pretty cool and it's completely fucking free i'm not gonna lie to you there was a lot of things from this event that i took away that i'm, I'm actually really fucking excited for the changes to some of the movement styles to kind of slow down that crackhead methamphetamine fueled fucking gameplay that these kids love nowadays i like that but they brought in the map design of old obviously tweaked it a little bit kind of updated it but it's those old school maps with a new but familiar school feel all the game modes that we saw today warzone 2.0 coming for free and this fucking D DMZ mode, which I think is where I'm actually going to be spending a lot of my time if it's good. And that's the thing here. I'm excited. I actually think the game is going to be really good. But if it's not, I mean, it's fucking par for the course at this point with AAA gaming. I'm not getting over the moon hype about it. What I saw today, I really fucking like. The PC beta is happening next weekend. And of course, it was timed perfectly with my vacation time where I'm going to be out of the country. So I'm not even going to be able to play the beta and I'll be fucked if I'm pre-ordering this thing on the PlayStation to be able to play it. It just isn't happening. So for me, I got to wait until launch. The trailer also showed off this fuse style mechanic. If you guys are fans of Rainbow Six, you know, like they throw the fucking breach charge in there. It blows a bunch of small grenades through the hole in the wall. That's ripped straight out of Rainbow Six. These guys are taking on a lot of different competition with this game. And man, a lot of the sentiment that I'm seeing online from like the negative side of things is, oh, you're just ripping shit from Counter-Strike and Rainbow Six and Battlefield. I mean, Rainbow Six and Battlefield, they, they've changed so fucking far that I would much rather have Call of Duty take those good ideas from them and leave them to do their fucking thing, whatever that is, and then put it into this game to make it a better experience. Like, that's how I'm looking at it at this point. The FPS genre, at least in the AAA space, is fucked. If they can nitpick little points from, from Rainbow Six, take take the hostage mode from Counter-Strike, take Ground War and realistic destruction from Battlefield and make a good fucking FPS out of it, I'll take it. That's just where I'm at right now. It just needs to be good from the gameplay that I saw today, from everything that I seen in the trailer and the discussions afterwards. It's looking pretty good. I'm kind of disappointed that I'm missing that PC beta, but I'm looking forward to seeing what other people have to say about it before we get to launch. And maybe it's a good thing. Maybe I won't burn myself out, touch it, make an opinion before. I want to go in with the freshest of eyes possible. The new gunsmith system is actually looking pretty cool too. It's basically the same thing. They dressed it up. They added the ability to change receivers, which kind of alter the, the weapon that you're using on the platform of your choice. So you could turn an M4 to an SMG to an LMG. It's kind of the same thing as they had before, but a little bit more in depth, a little bit more refined, and it's, it's looking good. This reminds me of a Modern Warfare 2019 1.5. And for me, at this point in the game, I'll take it. I'll fucking take it. If the game is anywhere close to the feeling of Modern Warfare 2019, it's going to be a dub. And I don't care that you might not think that there's enough innovation or or that the game hasn't changed enough to, to make it worth your while. We saw what happens when games change their ways, and I've had enough of it. I'm hoping that I'm going to fucking enjoy it, and that's kind of where I'm at. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of the Modern Warfare multiplayer reveal. I know there was a lot of stuff discussed during this show. I don't think I touched on everything here, but this is kind of just my first reaction to everything that we saw here today. Are you going to be playing it? Are you going to pick it up? Or are you going to wait until after launch? Let me know down below. While you're down there, leave a like on the video, a dislike if you didn't. Subscribe for more Call of Duty content. And if you guys want to become a channel member, you guys can finally start to see behind the scenes screenshots of my upcoming 
FPS that we've been working on for the last few months. It's looking pretty juicy. Just go to the community tab and you guys can see all of the pictures that we've released so far. And next week, we'll be putting some out for the public to see. And uh, I, I can't wait for you guys to see what we're cooking. My name is Big Fry. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you on the next one.